Uh, which is the most recent one? I believe it's Darth Paul Rocks. I think we're about to leave the planet. In the last episode, I gave, um... When we went in Nag Sado's tomb, we got some special blades. One we gave to the head of the academy. The poison one we gave to Zalbar, so hopefully we get to use that. And I switched in between now and then the lightsaber. What am I using? This is the um, crystals I'm using. One gives us a better critical threat range. And then, what's that one do? That one gives us the keen bonus, which I forget what that does. Something. It's safe to just whip your lightsaber around. I whip my lightsaber back and forth. Alright, let's get the fuck off this planet. See if Bastel has anything to say to us before we go. How can I help? I'd like to know more about your girlfriend. Yes, I suppose I can understand your curiosity given the bond that connects us. Very well. I'll tell you a bit about myself. Tell me how you joined the Jedi, then. I was found to be strong with the Force at a young age, as most Padawans are. As a girl, I was given to the Order to be trained. When I joined the Order, I left my family on Tarraven, as all Padawans do. My family is still there, the last that I heard. I've had little contact with them, as it is discouraged. It's not so... that's not creepy at all. Hey, take my children! Why is it discouraged that you... Don't talk to your family. Relationships with family members are fraught with powerful emotions. Such extremes are to be avoided. Anger and hate are the worst. But even love can lead to folly. You're not allowed to love, but come on, girl! Emotional entanglements can be dangerous. They can impair rational thought. They can lead to outbursts of uncontrolled emotion. A Jedi must be above such things. Hmm, you don't sound very convinced. It can be a hard lesson to learn. I was not on good terms with all of my family. But I do remember missing my father terribly for a long time. I was going to make a joke about the hard part until she mentioned her father. Uh, you and your father were close? Very close. I was only a little girl when I left my family, but I still remember him fondly. He was kind and gentle and doted on me. My mother, however, was different. I was not on good terms with my mother. I was only a little girl when I left, but I was old enough to resent her and the way she treated my father. She pushed my father into treasure hunting. I spent all my young life on ships, traveling from one false lead to the next. She whittled away my father's entire fortune, and I hated her for it. I think she was relieved to give me to the Jedi, but my father was heartbroken. You never tried to get in touch with your father again? A child is too young to understand the sacrifices that must be made. It's better if they have no contact with their family once they're removed. Once I was older, I realized the wisdom of this policy. A Jedi must do what is needed, personal desires notwithstanding. Love can only obscure and confuse the matter. Are you saying you no longer feel love, though? Because would you like to? Even a Jedi cannot always control the feelings of the heart. We must do our best to guard against it, no matter what the cost. But some sacrifices are harder than others. I, I do not wish to discuss this anymore. I would rather return to our mission. Cool, so we made some inroads with her. Karth, how's it going, bro? Thanks for not cock-blocking me there. Yes, what's on your mind? Um, how you been doing, bro? Oh, you want to argue some more, is that it? Yeah, I'm always up for a good fight. So I've seen. If I were Malak, I'd be a bit nervous to have you on my tail. I just don't trust easily. And for good reasons, which are my own. But we have to work together, Karth. So it has plenty to do with me. I suppose I won't get any rest until I talk, will I? You want to know why I don't trust anyone? Fine. Here goes. Five years ago, the Jedi had just finished the war with the Mandalorians. Revan and Malak were heroes. I was damn proud to have served in their fleet. It was completely unexpected when they turned on us, invading the Republic while we were still weak. Nobody knew what to think, least of all me. Our heroes had become brutal, conquering Sith. And we were all but helpless before them. I mean, think about it. If you can't even trust the best of the Jedi, who can you trust? They turned to the dark side, obviously. Why are you taking it so personal, bro? Uh, of course the Jedi turned to the dark side. There were others, however, who weren't Jedi. Good men, trusted men, who joined them. Malak and Revan and the Sith deserve to die for what they've done, but the ones who fled the Republic and joined them are even worse. The dark side has nothing to do with why they joined with the Sith. They deserve no mercy. 
Mm, you say that with such delicious hatred, Sarth. Uh, Karth. <laughs> He's like, you even know my name? Ah. I know. I'm... And I should apologize to you. I've, I've become so accustomed to expecting the worst in others, and you've done nothing to deserve that. It's just... No, never mind. Let's just continue with what we were doing. I'd rather not talk about it. All right. Nice to chat with you, bro. Let's go talk to people in the back of the ship since people have new things to say. Zelbar, my main Wookiee man. How you doing? Is there something you want? My voice changes every time you talk to me. Um, do you have anything else to say about yourself, bro? No. 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 All right. You don't trust me? It's nothing personal. I just don't feel you could understand anything about me. Oh, I get it. You're going through your teen angst phase. That's all right. The ways of my people are not for outsiders to know. You'll have to be content with that. Yeah, I'll leave you be then. Thank you. We'll respect this personal space. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? You will call me Padawan, sir. You want to talk, girl? What is it you would like to speak to me about? Um, are you really like a cat person, or is that cosplay? How'd you become a Jedi? How I came to be a Jedi? I am sure you would not find it very interesting. Are you sure you would like to hear? Bitch, are you deaf? <laughs> yes, please! Well, it goes back a number of years. Back on my home world, we did not see Jedi very often. Especially where I lived. Uh, where did you live? Is it Cat Planet? The hind end of space. A pit of a world, to be sure, where Jedi rarely tread. But we had heard of them. Well, everyone had, so that is not to be unexpected. Champions of truth, defenders of justice, heroes of the Republic. It was very easy for a child to be enthralled by their image, their mystique. Maybe I was one of those children. Did you meet a Jedi then? Or could I be, I'm gonna be rude. Typical childish naivety. Allow children their innocence while they still may have it. I was not so innocent, but I too was affected. When I saw a Jedi for the first time, they lived up to everything my imagination had created them to be. I was old, and maybe a little enamored. Enamored? They were quite striking, especially the tales of their leader. From that moment on, I knew that I would have to try to become a Jedi. To lift myself out of the rut I had been living in for years, and to make a real difference as the Jedi were. <laughs> the foolish delusions of a child. But this child made it happen. As soon as I was able, I left my world and went in search of them. I found them and was accepted. I had been living my dream on Dantooine for several years before you came, although... Perhaps I was not entirely ready for it. Or not completely suited to the task. Otherwise, I would not have fallen. But thanks to you, I have been redeemed. Perhaps I may yet live to see that dream of mine come true. Come, there is much we should do. Let us not waste time talking. Action is what is needed. She mentioned that, like, she kind of had a crush on the leader. Does that mean she had a crush on Darth Revan? Or does it mean... She had a crush on the little Yoda dude. How you doing, T3? Oh, you don't say? bebop a doo bop Can you give me a program spike? Thanks, man. Now we can go back here and talk to Candorus. See what he's been up to. Yeah, what do you want? Um... Do you got any more and more stories? You want another war story, huh? You want to hear about some other world getting wasted, eh? I knew you were the type. Your stagnant republic has never seen some of the strange creatures and races we fought on the Outer Rim in those years. <laughs> and you never will now. We? <laughs> you mean you're glad you committed genocide? Candorus, I thought I was a bad dude. Uh, what did you, 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 did you mean? If a world isn't strong enough to defend itself, it's basically forfeit. But this story is about something a little different. We were going through the asteroid fields of the Crispin system at the very edge of the galaxy, playing with the pirates and smugglers we found there. 
The main belt in the Crispin system consists of mainly small rocks covered in frozen methane gas shells. And the pirates were using them for cover. Ha! <laughs> I remember using a thermal generator to cause the outer layer of one of the asteroids to vaporize in a picosecond. It blew out and shredded the three smugglers using it for cover. But that was a mistake. Um... You Mandalorians never were too smart. The asteroid I had targeted was smaller than most, maybe a dozen meters on a side. On the outside, it looked the same as any other. Just a ball covered in frozen gas. But something must have been inside it. Something inactive in the cold. The heat of my blast might have triggered something or woken something up. After I'd hit it, spots of light and heat appeared all over the thin shell, still covering it, evaporating the gases. What lay underneath looked like some sort of rocky growth. A deformed rock, pitted by scores of micrometeorite scars. I think something even older might have been inside that. Mm, what happened next? It started rotating faster and faster as we watched it. After a second, it started spraying fire. Thermal projectiles that melted our armor like wax. We were caught completely by surprise. Before we could counterattack, it fled at an incredible speed. A ship or an animal of some sort? We couldn't catch it, but we could follow its hyperspace wake. We followed its trail as far as we could, heading away from the galactic core. When it finally led beyond the edge of our galaxy, we abandoned our efforts. Anything that wants to commit suicide in that great void is not worth our trouble trying to catch. Uh, that's the only story I have for now. I'll tell you some more stuff later if we get the chance. Is there something else you want to know? That was a pretty good story, but you better have more stories later. Darth Paul demands them. Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. Alright, thanks, bro. Uh, let's go talk to Mission. She's in the... Where is she? I think she's in the bedroom this way. There we go. Hey, girl. Hey there. What can I do for you? Um, you want to talk more about your brother? Because apparently I'm talking to everybody about family issues. Don't worry. I won't let the search for Griff get in the way of what we're doing. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, we're good. Okay. Have it your way. Alright, let's go hit the uh, nav computer and find somewhere to go. That's not the nav computer. <laughs> I'm outside my ship again and confused. Darth Paul's been drinking. Let's see, what do we got? Tatooine, Manon, Dantooine, the spec where the Jedi's are, Kashyyyk, and Yavin. These coordinates point to a small space station orbiting the gas giant Yavin. Oh, well, let's go there first, actually. I don't know if we even ever need to go over here, but let's go meet some new people. <laughs> hey Slayer, how you doing? I think it's... I don't think it said which planet or moon of you have. Uh oh. You don't say. Here they come, making another pass. Oh, that was useless to me. Is that one below us? Or? Oh, it's above us. Fortunately, I can't move down anymore. Maybe it's better. 
Yep, there's a merchant there. There's a... I think it's a Rodian? When I played this years ago, I didn't realize that WASD or A and D moves the turret smoothly. So those were so hard for me because I was trying to move. The, the mouse does like fine control, and A and D do quicker, smoother control, which is not a bad design to get you some speed and fine control. But I didn't know that with the mouse. You, you just hear the mouse when I played before slapping the desk trying to be like, uh, uh, move it around. Technically, this place, if you come here right before the end, has some really good lightsaber crystals, if I remember correct. Were you guys T-posing for me? Hmm. How can I help? You wish to talk to me? I do. I've been watching you, studying you closely to see what kind of progress you've made since your training at the hands of Master Zah. <laughs> I think we both know the real reason you're watching me, girl. You never give up, do you? I admit, I'm interested in you. I find you intriguing, compelling even, but it's not what you think. You have a great gift. You have an awesome command of the Force, and I tremble when I think of how you might misuse it. Oh, I make you tremble, do I, girlfriend? Did you get all tingly inside? What? I, no, of course not. Not like that, anyway. In many ways, you are... You are dangerous. You could be the savior of the galaxy. Or you could bring untold destruction upon us all. I've seen you give in to temptation and indulge your baser emotions on many occasions. I'm afraid you are on the path that leads to the dark side. You need to see what the dark side represents in its entirety. For it is what we battle. Only the wisdom of a Jedi Master can truly explain this. But I will do my best to make you understand. I, if you watch again, if they show the wide shot, look how Karth is just looking at the wall. Like he's trying to ignore this whole conversation. Uh, what are you trying to tell me, girl? The dark side is not simply giving in to anger, a temptation, or to use the force to destruct events. These things only lead to the dark side. The dark side grows stronger and more insidious the closer you draw to it. It begs you to surrender to it, to release all its terrible power. And it becomes harder and harder to resist. And once you stop resisting, it's too late. It twists you up inside and turns you into a mockery of everything you once stood for. What if I only stood for being a jerk ass? Hmm. You seem to know that temptation very well. I am no less resistant to temptation than any other. I simply have the benefit of training that you do not. But even the training of the Jedi might not be enough to save us. We need only to look at the atrocities which have been committed by those under its sway to understand the terrible, corrupting evil of the dark side. Millions dead, and far more suffering. What sort of person would you have to become to perform such deeds gladly? Darth Paul? I mean, wait. Um... Perhaps it's just the reasoning for those acts you don't accept. And how adept must one become at making excuses for one's actions if suffering is the result? How long before you stop making excuses at all? It's so easy to think that we would never fall prey to such a horror. That we have unlimited control, vigilance, and foresight. If only that were true. The Sith have become powerful because there are many Jedi who've succumbed to the lure of the dark side and joined their cause. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause? To use their own knowledge against them? We are weakened while they are strengthened, so we must harden our hearts and do whatever is required to fight against the dark side, even when the battle becomes wearying. Harden our hearts so we can make out and just pretend we don't like it? Wait, do whatever is required such as? I don't know. The vision of our future is clouded by shadows cast from the dark side. But I sense something ominous lurking in those shadows. But words alone cannot save one from the dark side. Come, we should continue with the task at hand. When the time comes, I only hope we are all strong enough to do what we must. Alright, I'm just I'm just here to do some space shopping, Bastila. We're like, it's, you want anything, Karth? I'm gonna give me some space funions. Mmm, those things are good. You want anything, Zalbar? Get you some Hostess cupcakes. People love those things. Uh, let us take... Uh, who are we gonna take? We'll take Bastila for once. And... 
guess we'll take Karth. We, we, we don't use Karth much. Um, let's level these two up a second. We're just going to auto-level him up, because I don't really care what he gets. I love how they do it all at once, if you want it to happen. Okay, let's level you up, girl. Uh, you can have... Uh... Uh, let's see, let's get her... Uh, Charisma we don't need up. Probably Wisdom. She needs another one. Hey, Steve, how you doing? Happy weekend. Yay. Finally. Ah, let's give her an additional feat. I don't really care what she has. We'll, we'll give her master toughness. Hopefully I don't regret that later on. Uh, oh, let's give her heal. That's pretty good. It's actually a little bunny, but it's hard to tell with how small it is. I wish it was a little bigger. That's what she said, too. Let's give her Force Choke. She can... I, I was going to be like, she can be like, choke me, Daddy, but she can actually do that to me. Don't choke me! Uh-huh. Sure. Don't go breaking my heart. Don't go break... Let's see if we can peek in here. Hello? I think I saved it. He's a very dapper fellow indeed, that space bunny. Lord Bun Bun. Uh, who's that? What do you want? I recognize your ship is Davix, isn't it? Can't afford a color monitor? What is this, the space 1950s? But who are you? You're new or something. Open this door. We're going to force persuade him. We're not even wasting our time. Open this door. I am your friend. No, I'm wearing a mask. <laughs> the mask makes me immune to um, mind-affecting things. Like Jedi things, I would say spells. It looks kind of dorky. Like, if we had a helmet to go with it, but I don't think we can wear a helmet and the mask, sadly. Yes, I'll open the door for you, friend. Friend Pawn, my best friend. Of course, you stupid, simple-minded fool. Here we go! Oh, I should've took mission with... Do we fix some of this stuff? Alright, what's up? No, not you, Bastila. Where'd he go? Did you eat him? Oh, there he is. Hmm, you don't look like I thought you would. Too human! It's ultimate social distancing, I guess. Don't see many of your kind out here at all. Not since the war at any rate. What brings you here? Do you have any Ewoks I can buy? Um. None of your business, bug eyes. <laughs> no need to be rude. I was just trying to be friendly as all. Well. You don't have to bite my head off. If you don't want to talk, then I don't really know what you're doing here. There's nothing in this end of space anymore. There's got to be a reason he's here. He ain't no space hobo. Wait, there's not any more? Hey, what? Um, uh, don't tell me you youngsters don't know about Exar Kun in that war. In fact, we're all about Exar Kun. But then again, there have been a lot of mm, troubles recently, I've heard. Enlighten me about Exar. Exar Kun was a Jedi, to start at least. He came here to Yavin and landed on the fourth moon. What? The one you can see through the window. There were some ancient Sith temples there, and in them Exar Kun gained terrible powers. He raised the Sith and waged a war against the Republic. Yes, give me lore. <laughs> I love your lore. Much like what seems to be happening today. Hey, King Horse, how you doing? But Exar Kun was far more powerful than any Sith Lord who has come since. The very ground trembled beneath his feet when he looked at you. Oh, you just melted. I'm... Oh, yes, he was dreamy. I bet. 
But that's all in the past now. I've got my life of staying here and tinkering with the stuff I found in the ruins. And the things the Trandoshans and smugglers bring me. Are those the Gorn wannabes? Who are the Trandoshans? Oh, the Trandoshans? Mercenaries and bounty hunters. Scum, mostly. They look like two big-legged lizards. I call them Lizardos. Oh, oh, I'm a fun one. Oh, so they're sort of like Rodians? Hey! No! Nothing like Rodians! They're ugly! Disgusting! And unlike me, I'm beautiful! You'd never want to say that to their faces that they're ugly, though. Rip their head- your head clean off, they would. Be weird if they ripped their own heads off. <laughs> um, I totally got lost about the ripping your heads off thing. Why are they here? Oh, they found me here a couple years ago after the war ended. Usually they don't bargain with people, they find alone in abandoned space stations, but we worked out a deal. I give them space BJs. What? Nothing. Nothing. I give them a few of my more applicable inventions at a reasonable price. They keep me supplied with food and new materials. It's worked out well for years, really, you know. With David gone, they'll be getting ideas, though. Thanks for your life story, bro. Anything else you want to know? Um, we're not gonna ask about Pazak. Uh, I do have a few more questions. Uh, what do you want to know? Do you know anything about star maps of the Star Forge? Yeah, I never heard of them. There are plenty of artifacts on Yavin 4, but no forges whatsoever. If that's what you're interested in, you'll probably want to try another system. Hmm. Who are the... How do you know Davik? Oh, he used to come here every once in a while to trade. Davik was everywhere. He worked for the exchange, big time smugglers. The Trandoshans really didn't want to get on his bad side, so they let him go. Or they let it go. Oh, I'm space high today. So much spice. But now that he's gone, things are a bit more, uh, uncertain. Uh, who are the smugglers? Rodians, Aqualish, Twilex, whatever. They all work for the exchange. Oh, I already know about the exchange. Ah, uh, they pay me to patch up and upgrade what they bring in and pay me well. They also bring news and supplies. Uh, you got anything you want to sell me? Yeah, I got a few things kicking around. They aren't cheap, though. They pay a lot for what I make. Anything I sell you, I can't sell them now, can I? But if you're willing to pay, I got a few of my advanced things you can look at. Um... So he's got... Good stuff. We don't need immunity for mind affecting. Oh, that would be kind of cool. Awareness plus 10. Uh, what do we got here? Defense bonus 6. Max dexterity plus 5. Should write. Oh, that's got a defense bonus of 7? Wait, these gloves. Give you a dexterity plus three and blaster bolt defection deflection plus five. We're gonna buy these. So let's go look at our guy. I like how Bastila was like, you don't want to be a bad guy. Who says we're bad? <laughs> I think we're pretty nice. Um. Oh wait, no, we want to keep using this one. So we'll we'll give those gloves to Bastila or someone. This gives us an immunity to critical hits. I don't know if we have enough money for the other implant he's got. Could buy this one. I don't know, critical hit immunity thing is probably pretty good. Thanks, bro. So this gives you a reason to come back, because he's like, I'm going to make new things. I thought we ran into the Trandoshans the first time, but I guess that's just setting that up for later. Uh, 
I don't think the Wookiee can wear anything. Otherwise, I'd give him the gloves. Oh, you can. Oh, but I gave him the strength amplifier thing, so he hits even harder. So, let's give that to Mission. She's got strength ones, but let's give her these. That'll give her even more dexterity, which will make her harder to hit. I don't remember if dexterity is used for ranged weapons in this game or not. I think it is, but I'm not positive. All right, crew, let's roll out to Manon. Manon, Manon. Manon, Manon. Oh, do you have anything to say, Karth, before we go? Yes, what's on your mind? You want to talk some more, bro? I thought I said I don't want to talk about it anymore. All right. Don't you think you'd feel better if we discussed it? Not particularly. I, I guess it wouldn't hurt exactly either, though I, I, I don't know why you're so interested. When I think of all the men who betrayed us, the one that stands out above all of them is the one that I respected the most. Saul. That name, it sounds familiar. With good reason. Admiral Saul Carath is the commander of the entire Sith fleet. He's half the reason Malak has done so well in the war. Saul was my commanding officer back when the Mandalorian Wars first began. He taught me everything about being a soldier, and I looked up to him. Saul approached me before he left. He talked to me about how the Republic was on the losing side and about how I should start thinking of my survival. I know now that he was trying to recruit me into the Sith, but I couldn't have conceived of it back then. I, I argued with him, and he got angry, and he left. I never saw him again. Yeah, Curse just need a little coaxing out. He's, <laughs> um... Wait, what did you say? I wasn't listening, Carl. <laughs> uh, oh, about Saul? You didn't think he'd betray the Republic? Saul was my mentor. He led us to so many victories against the Mandalorians. Even when things looked to be at their worst, I just, I couldn't conceive of it. He, he couldn't be serious. I was wrong, of course. He not only left us for the Sith, he, he gave them the codes to bypass our scanners. I remember waking up as the first of the Sith bombers snuck past our defenses and began destroying half of our dock ships. I knew right away what had happened. I mean, I could have stopped him. I, I could have stopped it all. How the fuck could you have stopped it, Karth? So you blame yourself for trusting a friend? I blame Saul, not myself. I was I was stupid and I ignored the danger. He nearly destroyed us all. No, I fought Saul for years now, and if I ever catch up to him, he will regret what he's done. He will regret it. Hmm. Yes, I would do the same if I were in your shoes. Revenge is the dish best served cold. Well, there's more to the story, I guess. But I don't want to talk about it right now. Let's go. Is he your boyfriend? Is that what you don't want to talk about? I think Saul was his boyfriend. Do you think? What do you think they talk about when we're not back there? Hey, Zelbar. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? You want to talk, some girl? What is it you would like to speak to me about? How you doing? You didn't leave this room, did you? Because you're not allowed in the rest of my ship. I, I, I thank you for your concern, but I am still a bit shaken. No, I'm serious. You're not allowed in the rest of the ship. I can give you a bucket to poop in. Salvar will empty it for you. You're just too fragile, Juhani. I am. I try to be strong, as one of my people should. But I know I am still weak inside. I have been thinking about myself, about Quatra, and about my fall to the dark side. I keep thinking that it was my anger that drove me that far, that nearly damned me. I look inside myself now, and I can still see it. I still feel it. The real reason we wear masks is so we can roll our eyes when people talk and no one notices. If you can't remove your taint, are you sure you should be here? I think maybe that I just need more time. Hmm. Give in to the dark side. It's cool. Hey, Zalbar. Oh, baby Candrus has got another long, boring story for us. So that one was actually all right. Tell me a story, Daddy. Yeah, what do you want? Got more war stories, bro? I don't have as many strange stories like the last one I told you. But I do have a couple about me and the stuff I've done. In one battle above the world of Althea, my unit managed to defeat a force of Althea ten times our own size. That battle gained me command of an entire subsect of my clan. Mm, yes, you were a great warrior, I hear. Ha! <laughs> I was the best. Except for Mandalore, of course. He was the only person alive except Revan who could have beaten me. For five days, they had managed to hold off our forces. 
keeping us to the outer rings of their world, preventing us from attacking it directly. My task was to assault one of their flanks with a false attack. The Altheri would be drawn out by the units I had sent in. Once they had surrounded those units, the bulk of my forces would attack from the rear and defeat them in detail. Ah, so we'll do give it up, give do it in the pooper tra thing. The Elf Theory se seemed dumb. Unlike me, Darth Parr, I'm super smart. They weren't stupid. Stupid races don't make starships and weapons of mass destruction. But they weren't masters of the arts of war as the Mandalorians are. Things didn't go as I had planned. I saw an opening. A mistake they had made in the disposition of their forces, and took it. While fending off our main force, they had let their fleet split in two. The center of their entire fleet was left exposed. I turned my forces and assaulted the center of their fleet, decimating them. You, you disobeyed orders? This is a chance given to a warrior once or twice in a lifetime. The chance to change the course of history in a single act. Their slow, ponderous ship could not turn to face us without being overwhelmed. Their command vessels were destroyed in seconds. Their ranks were thrown into chaos. It was amusing to watch the surviving ships scatter and flee. Several even tried to dive through the plane of the rings to escape us. They were shredded by the rings or crashed into rocks or were destroyed by our forces as we pursued them. Warriors do not flee from a battle if they are losing. They fight to the end as we did against your Jedi Revan. Another time, maybe, I'll tell you about how the war with the Republic went. For now, let's just get on with things. Is there something else you want to know? Mm, can you give me drugs? Hey, don't worry. I think you've got enough Oh, Aw, come on, bro. There any <laughs> Listen to your stories. Your choice. All right, let's go talk to Mission. <laughs> I'm starting to wonder if he actually did half of the stuff he's talking about. If he's like, you don't s run away, does that mean you just wait for them and surrender? Because he survived his encounter with Darth Revan's army. Hey there, what can I do for you? You want to talk more about your bro, bro? Don't worry. I okay. Actually, let's go. Let's go find her brother. That'll give us an excuse to go to Tatooine. I believe that's where he is. All aboard for Desert Planet. Uh, not Korriban, Tatooine. We'll go see some Jawas. Ooh, TV! Shame they never made a third Kotor game. Poor guy, always has restless sleep. It's a star map. It's in a cave of some sort with a broken nudie statue. It's in Porno Cave. We can't ask people that, can we, though? They're gonna think we're a creep. Have you seen porn okay? Maybe we can meet one of Jabba's ancestors. Another force! Oh, she's gonna talk. Another vision. The force is guiding us, helping us retrace the steps of Malak and his old master, leading us ever closer to the Star Forge. Tatooine is known for little but blowing sand. I find it surprising that there would be a star map somewhere in its desolate wastes. It looked like it was in some sort of porno cave. 
The star map would likely have to be within some kind of shelter to protect it against dust and sandstorms. I suspect there are many such caves and caverns hidden in the sands of the Dune Sea. The creatures of this world probably use them as their lairs. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. What can you tell me about this planet, girlfriend? How can I help? Um, wait, why did the Council send you on this mission? Why? I could not accomplish this on my own. I need the aid of others, especially one who is strong in the Force. The bond between us made you a natural choice. Besides, the events on Taurus proved that the Force wanted to bring us together for this mission. And there is little left to chance when the Force is involved. Is that not enough for you? What the fuck does she mean? What does she mean, her mission? We're the one doing all the work. Girl, if the Force wants us to be together, why do you keep resisting my undeniable charms? I said we were brought together for our mission, to stop Malak. I hardly think the Force would be pushing us toward a romantic involvement when the fate of the galaxy is at stake. Please try to stay focused. I doubt the Council would approve if they knew we were busy discussing our mutual attraction when we should be saving the galaxy from Malak. Ooh, mutual attraction? I knew you were interested in me. Mutual attraction? I never said... It's just an expression. Whatever our feelings... I mean, whatever your feelings, you have to try to ignore them. Don't let this complicate things. Finding the missing pieces of the star maps is our only hope of locating the Star Forge and defeating Malak. The Council explained all this quite clearly. <laughs> That's because the prequels haven't happened yet. Hey, Brad, how you doing? She says an expression, but Karth never says that to me, thank God. Hmm. It just seems odd to me. They'd send me off without a master to guide me. Is it regular to just have a pad on and be like, go? I admit, there were times that I wondered if this is more than just a mission to stop Malak. There were times when I wondered if this was also a way for the Council to test my own abilities. The ability of sitting on the ship while I get things done? I get a feeling that there's more going on than I know. I wondered if the Council wanted to see how I would help and guide you on our quest. I wondered if they were testing me to see if I was ready to become a Jedi Master myself. And then I realized how foolish such thoughts were. As the Council explained, sending a Master in our group would only have drawn unwanted attention from the Sith. The fate of the galaxy is at stake. The Council would not risk it merely to test me. They calculated the risks, and in the end chose the only option available. <laughs> I'm still not convinced, girl. You must learn to trust in the wisdom of the Council. Your destiny will come when it's appointed time. You mustn't be so impatient. Hmm. Hmm. Me? You're the one who thought this was her big audition for masterhood. You could be my master. I mean, I didn't say that. Must you be so frustrating? I admit, I had a moment of foolish pride, but I'm over it. Now I am focused on my true responsibilities. I'm simply trying to help you and complete this mission, and yet you battle me at every turn. What can I say? It's fun. Fun? Fun? Driving me insane is your idea of a good time? There's nothing but sand outside. What else am I going to do? Mm, careful, girl. Remember your self-control. You, you are a very odd man. Do you know that? I simply don't know how to deal with you. All I want to do is help you, but you seem determined to drive me mad. Mm, complain all you want. You know you love the attention. I don't know if I should be outraged that you keep joking about serious matters, or if I should be grateful that you can always lighten the mood. Come on, come. Let's move on. There's much to be done. Yes. What kind of pizza did you get, Brad? I got some Pizza Hut last night. I wanted to get some jets, but they were closed by the time I ordered some stuff. Alright, who are we going to take with us? Wait, no, let's see. Will Mission say anything special here? Because we're on Tatooine. Hey there, what can I do for you? Do you know anything about this planet? I always heard Tatooine was nothing but a rock covered by a bunch of worthless sand. I can't even figure out why Zerka Corp set up their mining operations here. Sorry I can't be more help, you know. Is there anything else I can do for you? Oh man, Sluggos, they make the best cheesy bread. Okay, have it your way. Mmm, that sounds so good. Alright, let's roll out, team. We're going to take Mission with us. And we're going to take Zalbar. Welcome to Anchorhead, potential customer. Zerka Corporation stands ready to serve. After some formalities, of course. First, your ship is not on our list of planned arrivals for today. There is a docking fee of 100 credits because of this. 
Here's the eat my dick fee of 100 credits. Um, what do I get for 100 credits? The immediate benefit is access to these very docking facilities. This is the only port in Anchorhead. Once you've paid, we will offer trade services as well. We're not unreasonable, we just want to cover expenses. That Jets is pretty good. Let's use our force powers on this man. I don't need to pay the fee. You know, I don't think you need to pay the fee. We'll let it go this time. Well, that was easy. I sure wish I had special mind affecting force powers. This will cover any future landings as well. It's like a registration, so we can serve you better when you return. Now, as a customs officer, I can provide information on services. Is this visit business or pleasure? Um, feel free to give me some background on Tatooine. There isn't much to tell. It's a very old planet, well past its prime. Zerka Corporation is the only company with any interest in it. It's not a very pretty world, but there is opportunity here if you know where to look. Hey, Blaze, how are you doing? It's full of sand. I hate sand. It's coarse and it gets everywhere. Tell me about Circa Corporation's operations here. I can't really get into that. It hasn't been a very smooth operation. I shouldn't get into it. He's not a smooth operator. Let's force persuade him. You want to tell me more about it? I... I can tell you more, I guess. It's not a big secret or anything. Just not good for business. You see, Zerka Corporation staked their claim to this planet based on some very promising geological surveys. Unfortunately, that information was incorrect. And possibly even a, an attempt at sabotage by a rival company. I'm doing pretty good, thanks for asking. What other company? Are you checking me out? Oh, she's not checking me out. So, Zerka Corporation has set up a shop on a barren planet? That's interesting. Not totally barren. There were a few good years of mining, and limited operations are still in place. But the ore is flawed. It has peculiar properties. They've had to look at other forms of business. What do you mean that the ore is peculiar? Zerka Corporation has really tried to hide this, but it just seems that Tatooine metal is unfit for effective manufacturing. I would imagine that this outpost will eventually be abandoned. Nobody is making any money here. Of course, this rock may have been settled a few times, so look for some other company to get stuck with it. What other forms of business are there being looked at? Pursuits that uh, appeal to the casual traveler. There are some fearsome native species that provide exciting hunting. There are also lengthy barren wastes that serve as fine soup tracks. Attracting business has been slow, however. <laughs> really? I, I'm amazed people don't want to come to your vacation of a desert, a, a barren desert. Um. What is known about the history of this planet? Very little. There are hints that it might once have been a lush world, but I can't picture it as anything but a desert. Native sentient species have no records going back that far. That was hundreds of years ago, maybe thousands. Of course, the native species are not very willing to tell anyone anything. They're <laughs> barely more than animals. I hear they travel single file, file to cover the tracks. What about the city of Anchorhead? How old is it? The site is quite old. From the look of it, it's been settled before. Circa Corporation claimed it only a few decades ago. Those guys behind you, are they doing anything? Or is their job just to walk back and forth? And tell me about the Circa Corporation's operations here. Yeah. Well, you already did. Where should a person look for opportunity? It depends on what level of risk you want to take. You could ask at the Zerka office if any bounties need collecting. That's in the central anchor head. While you're at the office, ask for a hunting license so you can sell trophies to Faza in his lodge, just north of them. I suppose you could also take up swoop racing. Talk to the hut at the registration office by the track. That's in West Anchorhead. I can't say I know which of these jobs is the most dangerous. I stay away from all of them. Ha! I'm done with you. Stay out of my business or else. There is no need for that. I'm just doing my job. You are free to move as you wish. Even like this? Woo! Oh, I didn't move. 
don't, don't you scratch your head, Zelbar! He's like, why is humans so rude? I do what I want. Ooh, what's this? What's some sort of turret? Who that? Turn it, you Gundafasa! Customers are talking. That's better. Hello, customer. Buy from Mick Tuna Just and save your credits. Best deals. You save yes because you never know when. Oh, he said something carbon. Oh wait, the galaxy's in trouble. We say even before we hear of this trouble on Korriban. So that means what we did on Korriban. The word's starting to get out. Uh, I have questions. We're here to serve. What do you need? Um, are there any off-world rumors? Just what everybody else talks about, Taurus and the Sith, and the stirring of change could be good for business, could be bad for business. All we know is that wise people keep low and stay out of the way. Something to always remind your other half, or if you have one. Are you saying I'm... Are you making fun of the fact I'm single? What is that guy doing staring at my... Get away from my ship! Um... Do you know anything about Tatooine? Not as much as we should. If we knew more, we would have better business. Travelers like us best. Settlers don't have much to trade. We travel... Don't travel far on Tatooine, you see. The weather's not like our home. Too dry. Way too dry. Who would I ask to get more information? Trust the locals, even if they don't trust you. They know what's going on. All right. Uh, do you have anything good to sell? We don't have much in the way of money. Uh, a brand? That's kind of cool. Some gauntlets. Ooh, all saves plus three. That's pretty sweet. Banther of Father? It's a... M this is a highly pungent mixture of local plants and fungus. Banthas apparently find it irresistible. Those doubtful any intelligent species would willingly call it food. We're going to buy that. because Oh, and we'll buy this poison. I have a feeling that those things might become relevant later on. I don't remember what they're for, but... Hello there, Captain! Let's see! Ah, oh, here it is! It looks like the ship has been delivered to your ship as requested! Uh... What? This is Docking Bay 32, isn't it? Yes, it is! That's what I have here on the requisition form. Everything seems to be in order. Wait, did you say Gizka? It says right here on the manifest you ordered a crate to Gizka. To be delivered to Docking Bay 32, that's right here. Now all I need is your thumbprint for the- Wait a second! Where did the data pad go? Ugh. Nothing's ever organized here. At any rate, the Gizka are yours. One of the loaders said the crate split open when we put it in your hold. Some of the critters might have gotten loose. What? That happens, I'm afraid. We don't accept liability. We certainly couldn't take the cargo back. Enjoy! Gotta go! Whoop! Does no one on our ship do anything? Ah. Uh. Oh, great. Now we got these little creatures everywhere. It looks at you. Um, let's pet it. You scratch the little critter behind its nubs that pass for ears, and it coos enthusiastically in response. It looks disappointed at the lack of attention and hops away. Well, we do have poison for these now if we want to. I thought they were a problem at some point. Well, you got some pets, Candorous. Take care of them. Can I? Can you get out of my way? I'm trying to leave the ship. So take Mission Zelbar with us. I'm not gonna poison them just for the sake of poisoning them. Ooh, it's Ronto. Whoa. The Republic is too complacent. If they let Terrace fall, do you think they care what happens out here? You think that was cool, Zalbar? You think he thinks we're cool? Who's this? Please, could you help me? 
I have nothing. Nothing left. What do you... Uh, uh, speak, I'm listening. I'll try not to take up too much of your time. I realize that everyone is out for themselves on Tatooine. My husband was a hunter, killed out on the dunes. This raid plate is all I have left. Please, will you buy it? I don't need a handout. I just can't sell it to Faza without a license. Please, I'm worried about having it. They're so rare. What is a raid plate, and where did you get it? It's the bone plate from the head of the desert raid. My husband was so proud when he found it. He had just started hunting. He said he felt sure the next hunt would bring in more, so we waited to sell this one. Then he never came back. Hmm. More questions. Will you help after? I'll try to answer what I can. Lady, I'm known as Darth Paul the Helpful throughout the... Would you shut up, Ronto? Why do you need the money? We spent everything on my husband's hunting gear. We hoped that the sport would support us. We hoped. Whoever killed him took everything. All I have left is this desert raid plate. We thought we were so lucky when he brought it home. If I could sell it, the kids and I could get out of here. Maybe buy passage to Coruscant? I don't know. This sounds like a scam. Will you help after? Um, I want to ask about your husband's death. I still can't believe he's gone. What do you want to know? Mm, who was he? His name is... was Ward Fizark. He used to work in the mines, but they scaled back last year. He was new to hunting, but he was a good fighter. He used to be a soldier. We spent everything in his gear. After a few trips, he didn't come back. Guards say his sandcrawler crew found his body stripped of everything. Any leads on who killed him? Nobody saw anything, and most of the other hunters never even knew him. He had just started. I don't trust any of them. But those Gamorians, they just laugh when they see me. I think they did it. Hmm. You aren't looking for delicious vengeance? It doesn't matter. There's no justice on Tatooine. I don't care what happens to them. I just need credits. I don't know if I could let it drop so easy. I agree with you, Zalbar. Honto, get out of this conversation. My family, not those vicious pigs. Hmm. All right, let's talk about this raid plate. Will you buy it? I can't sell it myself. They are worth more than 500 credits. You think she's telling the truth? 500 credits? I don't know. This sounds like a scam. Um, let's see. I think I'll just take it from you. What? Please tell me you're kidding. I can't get any lower than this, and you would take advantage? <laughs> we could... Oh, I... I. We could force persuade so she willingly gives it to us. Or we could just threaten her. I feel like threatening her straight up is just more mean. Hand it over or things will get very unpleasant. Please, no! Take it then. But you may as well have just killed me. You've trapped us here with nothing. You know what? Sometimes you're nothing but a bully. What? You, you have no conscience. That plate was all I had. We're trapped here now. All because of you. Darkness, take you, monster. You know what? Sometimes you're nothing but a bully. I heard you first time, Mission. I heard you first time. And that lady? <laughs> Ended up being Anakin's great 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 grandmother. And now you know the rest of the story. Did you really need to say that twice, Mission? The first time Mission said that, I thought it was like a bad voice line. Because it, it was still aimed at the lady I was screwing over. An old face come to test your skill on the endless dunes of Tatooine. Fars as large as a place to. The world may not have much, but it does have the meanest predators this side of the Galactic Rim. A hunter's paradise. Uh, I got something to sell you. I'm sorry, but I'm not allowed to even look at what you have until I see your hunting license. Circus Corporation rules. Uh, other hunters all have them. I can't make exceptions or I'll get shut down. Ah, uh, what do you got doing here? It's hunting lodge. I purchased what sportsmen bring in. Not a bad little job. <laughs> you gotta have laughing, right? Star Wars has always got characters that laugh. Yeah, I got some questions about hunting. You'll want to know how to get in on it. Just pay two hundred credits for a license down at the circus office. No license, no hunting. 
Could you lower the fee? That's not up to me now, is it? You have to talk to the people at the Circa office in the center of town. All right. Anything out of the ordinary happening? You mean here on Tatooine or in general? I heard of the destruction of Taris. Don't know anything specific. Not surprised something like it happened, though. I remember the Exar Kun War and how the Sith and Jedi fought across worlds. They don't have much interest in either group. Both act like they're above my concerns, and I guess they are. All right. What about anything local? Zirka Corporation is always complaining about sand people. I stay out of it. We hunt animals, not people. And I guess the Jawas are being pushed for out again. At least that's what I think they said. Tough to tell sometimes. You have to talk to those groups for yourself for more. I keep to myself. All right. Thanks. What? There's a first person view in this? You can't move in it. Apparently if you hit caps, you can change the... I never knew that. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a fan. I've played this game plenty of times. Hey, girl. I never knew that. Oh, shit. I broke things. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is there something you wish, human? Mm. Information if I could trouble such a worthy hunter as you for a moment. Spare me flattery, human. Such talk is rarely sincere. That's true. I'm blowing smoke up your ass. Who are you and what do you do? I am Kumat Fortuna, hunter and member of this lodge. It is not the life for everyone, but I am content. Where's the best hunting? It's wherever the best hunter is. A try to answer, human. But they'll need what I can give. It depends on what you seek. Raid are plentiful. And the spoils of the sport hunter. Dragons appear only to the true hunter. Crate dragons? Those are just legends. Patience is key. Crate dragons hunt alone. And the prey is whatever can catch their attention. So dragons are rare? Are they dangerous? They are both rare and dangerous. It is honor to hunt. If you survive, you are blessed and favored. Respect them. I respect no one. Some try to lessen the risk by mass hunting with battle droids. I would rather hunt solo, taking the risk of my own. Who uses battle droids? Probably the Gamorians, right? I will not speak of it while they live. It is their shame to admit or hide. They know the effect it has. Perhaps they will kill so many raid and will also kill the hunt. After that, perhaps the solo hunter will still prosper. Alright, you talk too much. Goodbye. Goodbye. Get lost, Tenderfoot. I hunt desert raid. I don't babysit. Come now, I just want to benefit from your experience. Well, you sure know how to get on my good side. You're just trotting out bantha paths, but thanks all the same. Who are you and what do you do? My name is Doric Quinn. I'm a hunter. I hunt. Is that enough or should I start listing my family birthdays? Ooh, I do enjoy lore. Where's the best hunting? If I knew the best place, why would I tell anyone? It would be worth too much to me to let it get out. It doesn't matter anyway. This season has been dry for me, as it has for almost everyone. Perhaps someone else is holding out, but there are simply fewer raid out there. Why are there fewer raid? It used to be a one-on-one -on -one test. Hunter against hunted. Now people just want the credits. I could stomach maybe a pair or a team of hunters, but some now use battle droids. Where's the sport in that? Who uses battle droids? That's not for me to say. I won't be a troublemaker in so small a community. You'll see. Hunt, and you will see. Man, these guys are all up in arms about battle droids. How's you fight a clone army? How long you been working on? Did I ask them that. What well, keep telling me about the other hunters? I don't go telling stories about other people. You want to know what they think? You go talk to them. Uh, one word though. Watch yourself around the Gamorians. Girk and his buddies aren't to be trusted. Everyone else I respect because they have skill. Those guys, they go for easier prey. I don't know if I'd say that right next to them. What makes you say that, bro? Just watch your back when you hunt. The dragons aren't the only dangers out there. Check. If that's what you want, I'm not... Um... 
Show me some respect. I demand it. Easy now. I'm not looking for a fight. This is a friendly place to gather. You, you kidding, right? Mm. <laughs> Maybe I'm tired of your face. Maybe I'll just remove it. I don't have a yeah. I don't have a problem with battle droid hunting. Easy now. Come on. Look, I don't want any trouble. I'll just leave. All right. Don't worry about me. Every ship that lands brings a new hot shot. I don't have the time. My friend doesn't like the look of you, and I don't either. I feel like a big man now. You see that, Zalbar? You're right. V admission, it is fun to be a bully. Let's see if we can bully this guy. Cool, cool mode. Mm. Mo, you pay me not to kill you. You're far too. You talk far too big, human. This isn't a place for such things. Guards are a short yellow way. They wouldn't get here in time. Pay me. We'll use the force on him. Of course! The guards wouldn't take their time getting here. I don't wish trouble. It's unfortunate you chose this course, human. You never know when you need an ally. We could have been friends. I wanted to be your friend. Dude, this guy just look at him. He's like, what did I just fucking see? Don't mess with me, Rodian. Don't you dare mess with me. Don't interrupt my drinking. Gurk's got more patience. Go bother him. <laughs> ah, boys. You talk to me. What you want, you me? Gurk, oh, no time for you. Yeah, tell him, Gurky. <laughs> what if I wanted advice? I'm sure you're very smart. Hmm, <laughs> heal me. Try to keep my secrets, I bet. Trying to find where I hunt, I tell you nothing. You get nothing, huh? <laughs> I bet you guys would make delicious bacon. Hmm. Watch your tongues, piggies, or I'll rip them out. What? You talk pretty big. Maybe you should take that back. Gherkin boy's tough. Yeah, I'm very tough. Mama said so. Mama said very tough. Maybe we chase you out of system and dump you in the dunes. Hmm. Hmm. Or I slaughter you where you where, where you stand. Oh shit! I fucked up the words. Can we start over? Or I slaughter you where we stand, where you stand. Ah, do you want to risk it? Uh, wait a minute. It's easy now. We have to. Uh, I gotta go do some. Mom said I gotta get home. Yeah, you run, you cowards. Yeah, you lucky Humi. We got to do business somewhere. Yeah. I hope we don't get murdered by everyone on this planet, because we've just been a jerk to everyone. We see you again, though. Just you wait. Run! I bet the bar owner would hate us. Oh, we're getting nice and dark-sided. In fact, if we... This is one of the advantages of... Wearing the mask? Look, at you can see his face. Once upon a time, he had color, but now he's starting to look pretty evil. But the nice thing about wearing the mask is people can't tell. They just think we're, like, cosplaying. What can I do for you? Did my wife send you? This ain't about credits, is it? Hey, Lauren, how you doing? I'm looking for experts, experts you seem knowledgeable. And I'm bullying people in the bar. It's fun. Oh, of course. Who put you up to this, my wife? what I said about having no credits. Mm, I want to ask you something about hunting. Hunting is a dirty and tough business. What can old Tannis tell you about it? Uh, how long you been doing it? Too long. But it beats smuggling. You ever run into a Sith dreadnought in the desert? No, you haven't. It's National Pizza Day. <laughs> pizza and cookies sounds delicious. What kind of pizza? Wait, you crossed paths with the cis dreadnought? I'm sorry, I had pizza on my mind, bro. Pizza's delicious. Hell, I married her. <laughs> no, no, seriously now. I had this friend that crossed Sith space and got stripped of everything. It's not like I have much now, I guess. But I still prefer sand people to getting ambushed on unproven trade routes. Mm, you go on about your wife a lot. What's the deal? Take your wife, please. Ah, she doesn't understand me. You know the drill. It's not my fault. She knew who I was when she married me. 
What can you tell me about the other hunters? Uptight and cold, like my wife. They don't like me streamlining the hunt with droids. I don't fit in, but I don't let it bug me. You know how it is, you don't take any back talk either. I heard about you and Gurk. I should have you deal with my wife. Wait, are you asking me to get rid of her or to fuck her? Because maybe? <laughs> oh, that sounds good, uh, Lauren. Uh, what about the hunters besides the Gamorreans? Dorak is reasonable. Gomad is a pain, but he keeps his distance. I can tell he doesn't like me much. Ask around the lodge if you want information about the other guys. I don't really talk to him much. The other guys don't like me. They just don't accept me for me. And I might have threatened to kill a lot of them. Fine, fine, whatever you want. Oh, I want to threaten him too. I guess I can't. Good, hunt. Whoa, I'm fucking him. What's your wife gonna think about this, bro? Oh, what happens if I do the? Oh, it doesn't do that. All right, so we gotta get a hunting license while we're here. <laughs> yeah, definitely terms of service. That's how you make the space. Hey, kudos. Hello, human. Are you a hunter like the others here? Not the life for me, but I admire you for it. What do you do, nerd? I fill the days with games of Pazak. Abandoned! Abort! Abort! Gotta go! Nope. I don't want to play your Magic the Gathering nerd game. The one thing that drives away Darth Paul. <laughs> I don't want to play your collectible card game. Now where'd that lady go that we screwed over? Word is Korriban is a dangerous place to visit, right? Something you want? I don't have a lot of time for talk, so please make it quick. I've got questions. Hmm. Well, all right, but I'm not sure what I could say to interest. I just work on the crawlers. Describe your job and who you work for. I like lower. I repair the sand crawlers when they return from the mines. They get pretty banged up, even without the attacks. Like your mom. Awkward. Uh, what attacks do you mean? The sand people attack them pretty regularly. Zerka Corporation is getting pretty sick of it, I hear. They've offered bounties on sand people for a while now. But few hunters take them up on it. Too dangerous. Wait, where can I l you learn about these bounties? Try at the Zerka offices, right here. They'd know. When do the sand crawlers head out? Oh, the big crawlers head out at dawn. That's so they avoid the bigger predators. The raid, I mean. Doesn't help avoid the sand people, though. They attack pretty regular, no matter what Zerka Corporation tries. Mm -mm. Can you tell me about Tatooine and Anchorhead? Well, it's a hole in the galaxy as far as I'm concerned. I doubt this outpost will last much longer. But that's happened before and will happen again. Anchorhead has been resettled a few times now. Mm -mm. Why have the previous settlements failed? Well, Tatooine fools people. It looks like it might have a good supply of resources, but it doesn't. Before a company learns this, they've already set up communities to support operations they now can't afford. Company pulls out, cities dry up, and after a few years, someone that doesn't know why it failed tries again. Hmm. Thanks. All right then. Back to work, I guess. We even have to threaten him. What a nice guy. You'll be hearing about this, you sack of puppets. I'm not going to let this drop. You can't murder a whole village. I reckon we could. And don't tell me to take my concerns to your corporate kiosk. I know when I'm not wanted. Stop your shouting, fool! I'm done talking in this office. They aren't interested in listening to me. I doubt they'll even acknowledge I was here. Typical corporate evasion. That's what happens when they own everything. No accountability. Don't even bother bringing it up. Hey, compared to the corporate structure here, we're the good guys. Can I help you? These are the offices of the Zerka Corporation. I trust you have business with the company. If this is about employment, I'm afraid all regular mining positions are full. And before you ask, we are also no longer selling hunting licenses. But I need a hunting license. I screwed a lady out of her last worldly possession, and it would be so sad if I didn't get money out of it. I wanted to ask about hunting license. As I said, we are no longer selling them. There are too many people cavorting about outside the walls as it is. <laughs> So if you look over the walls and you see all these people kind of dancing and cavorting, 
I, I gave you that license to hunt, not to cavort out there, Billy. I see you. I see you cavorting. Why would I need a license anyway, you whore? We use them to ensure that only people judged fit by Zerka Corporation are allowed outside the city. We don't allow casual exploration because of legal concerns. Zerka Corporation takes no responsibility for loss of life on the dunes. It's just so we can keep track of people. No one leaves the city without a Zerka hunting license. So there's no way to get a license. Well, normally we charge 200 credits, but I could make an exception if you agreed to perform a task for us. It's similar to hunting. The sand people are becoming a problem. They destroy our sand crawlers and kill our miners. One particular tribe is the worst. It's as if their chieftain has decided to wage war against us. I would like their attacks terminated. Bring me their gaffy sticks as proof. If you agree to do this, I'll give you a hunting license now and pay a bounty for each stick later. I'll give a bonus for the chieftains. Mm, yes, I agree to do this. Excellent. Now, just so we understand each other, this is an enforceable contract. Zerka Corporation takes this very seriously. Here's your license, and a few directions. We believe one of their enclaves is in the far south of the Dune Sea. You might try following one of our sand crawlers. They're regularly attacked. I wouldn't mind you escorting them. I wouldn't mind you escorting my dick. I mean, wait, I, I gotta go. Very good. Zerka Corporation looks forward to your future business. See, Zalbar, that's how you do it. Smooth. Zalbar, don't scratch your head. Where did mission go? Mission? Oh, hi. What is it? Is this about mining or sand people? You go to circus offices. I just managed the storehouse. Are right, you gonna sell me something? Oh, wait, there are bounties? That's my affair. You want to hunt for Zerka? You talk to the protocol officer. All right, what do you got to buy? Uh, just kind of standard shit. Ah, mesh underlay might be okay. We're not used to much in the way of armor that's modded, though, right now. Let's go back to the hunting lodge and sell that raid thing we got. Don't you believe a word of what Circa Corporation said in there? There's always a peaceful solution to conflict, so they're just lazy! What the hell are you talking about? Zerka miners have been attacked by sand people. So the company Zerka Corporation wants them killed. They didn't ask you to do it, did they? They're not animals. I've watched them. They're intelligent. There must be a way to peacefully stop the attacks. I know it. Then you go do it, nerd. But no one will try, of course. They can't even leave the city without Zerka approval, and they want the sand people dead. Huh. Why would you know any better? I'm no expert on diplomatic situations, but I know when there's a lack of due care for the environment and the residents of it. What would you have done to the sand people? It must have seemed like an invasion. There were no negotiations for territorial resources. I don't think the killing's been justified, but as a conservationist, I'm hoping at least someone tries to talk this out. Uh, I don't care. Go away. Go on, then. You're just like Zerka, short-sighted fool. If you could talk to them, maybe get a true translation, don't droid. Oh, I'm wasting my time. Get out of here. Well, we could use a droid. Where was the hunting lodge? I think it was right by that rhino that never shuts up. <laughs> It seems like, what would Anakin do, right? You hunt off much? Uh, careful. Out on Korban, word is Sith are fighting each other. Though I suppose that may be normal for them. Yeah, we kind of fuck things up with Sith in the best way. I gotta sell you something, bro. So I see. That's the biggest desert rape skull plate I've seen in the season. Whoever got that is a skilled hunter. I'll pay a premium for that. 500 sound fair? Yeah, that'll do nicely. Oh, I thought it would. Oh, do you have anything else to sell? Get away from me, bro. Too close. Gotta go. So we got 500 credits for our hunting prowess. Jawas. Do they look kind of big for Jawas? Oh, you don't say. 
Ooh, teeny! Swoop registry. Oh no. Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Terrace alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. Quickly, pretend we're all. <laughs> um. Jawas. Ooh, teeny! How would you like to dance? Ha ha ha! Um. Come on, use the poison blade. Yeah. You, you need to dance too! Oh, delicious! Oh. Please do not shoot my Wookiee. I do not appreciate it. Finally some combat. We've had like an hour and a half of talking. We got a second lightsaber we could use if we wanted to put it in the offhand, which we're probably not going to do. Oh, there's a data pad we could read. Um, new items? I got too much garbage. I need to sell some of this stuff. This data pad contains detailed descriptions of you and Bastila. It also has a brief message. Bastila's escaped Taurus. Whoever can find and dispose of her and her Jedi companion will be greatly rewarded by Lord Malak himself. I have not played Jedi Outcast or Academy. The only Academy games I've played are, um... What is it? Star Trek Academy and Klingon Academy? Klingon Academy, I wanted to do an LP of forever, but I could not get it to capture. And by the time I finally figured out how to capture it, I was done with YouTube. It took me forever to figure out how to capture it. I watched some good races at the swoop track last week. Yeah, you have to thank Mata for giving us something to do. I remember, uh, what's his name on YouTube? Jim Games or something? Jim Retro Games? Jim Plays Games? I asked him because he, he was one of the few people that had done like an LP of it. And he told me some um, program I could use, but I, I couldn't get it to work right. I've thought about streaming it. I just don't know how boring it would be watch, to watch somebody doing combat missions that are re repetitive like that when you fail. I I don't know. That game was a blast. and That game has like one of those... You know back in the day when you'd have big manuals? That game has like a massive manual. It's like a book. <laughs> what you want? You here for money? I pay the hut what I owe as soon as the circuit is back on its feet. You're not even into Star Trek, Lauren. <laughs> No, wait, you don't look like a collector. You're just some punk kid. Go on, I don't have time for you. Maybe you were right. Maybe I want money. You don't look like anyone I owe. Stop fooling with me. I've not played the Borg FMV game, but I have um, seen people play it. We're going to force persuade this guy. You know you need to pay me. I, I know I need to pay you. It's obvious my old loans have caught up to me. I knew it would happen. Here it is. Everything I have. Now just leave me to figure out how I'm going to pay for track time. You probably shouldn't have given me all your money, moron. <laughs> I never, I never used Force Persuade this much. I didn't know there were so many fun, horrible things you could do with it. I love this game. Hi there, I'm waiting for a slot on the track. Me too. There's lots of racers coming through here now. Uh, new swoop jocks like me. I don't want to hear about your jock, bro. My jock don't get no respect. Just takes practice, I guess. What makes you think you know anything about me, Worm? I, I didn't mean anything. I don't. I don't want any trouble. It's true, you are Darth Paul the jerk ass. Hmm. How about you pay me to leave you alone? Uh, come on. I, I don't want any trouble here. Take what I have. Just don't hurt me. That dude's got massive hands. Hey, I'm not waiting around for you to snap. I'm no fighter. I just race. This is how we win the race, right? We drive everyone out.
I wonder if we were supposed to drive people out. If we're just doing it anyway because we're just an a-hole. Go on, leave me alone. I've got stuff to worry about. Uh, poor baby, make me care. You don't know. Don't go thinking you know because you don't know. I've got problems. Deal with that hut Mata and you will understand. Until then, I just don't want to talk about it. The hut looks like he's seen things. Look at his eyes. The horrors that the hut's seen. Hey, Dragon Dance, because we're, we're a good guy. We're all about being a good guy. Yeah, we're kind of like embrace the dark side of the force. Isn't that what you're supposed to do in Star Wars? A swoop groupie. Get out my space dick. Around here. Yes, is there something you wish? I have a moment or two where the others post their times. Is this a racing matter? Perhaps you're interested in taking up the sport. I'm mostly here just to bully people. I bullied, every, bullied everyone in the bar. Now I'm bullying everyone here. This guy's going to go on to become a great musician later on. Um... Your petty hobbies are of no interest to me. Oh, all right. I was just making conversation. I'm not looking for a fight. She said fight. She wants to fight. Hmm. Hmm. I think you found one anyway. Look, wait. If I've offended some local customer or something, I apologize. Uh, I don't want to fight. Here, take this. We're like Space Robin Hood. We steal from them for ourselves. Now, if we're through, I, I gotta pay back my. For, prepare for my race preparations. I, I leave you to your unpleasantness. This is what you, Darth Vader really does when he's not in the movies. I was due to race on Terrace, but I blew a qualifying race. No one cares. Sorry, the track is only for racers that Mona's accepted and signed up for. He pays for track upkeep, so it's his choice. Go talk to him. Alright. I don't really want to swoop race, though. Why are you still in here? McFly! What did I tell you about seeing you in here? I guess we'll talk to the hut while we're here. Who are you? Nobody? <laughs> what you want? Handouts? Go dig a mine, you fool. <laughs> that's a good one. I have a box for you sent by Lurs. Oh, I think that's that Rodian we ran into on Korriban. Uh, what's this, a box? Oh, oh that box. Mm, space weed. Spice. It's like a screen door on a battleship. You know, I know what that box is you're talking about. I suppose thought you were supposed to be here a month ago. You take a detour, huh? Ah, never mind. You open box. Oh no, we didn't. No. Smart man, live longer that way. I honestly forgot about it. I suppose you're expecting some payment now. I'll give you 2,000 credits for the box, and you can run on your way. Let's see if we can talk him up. I expect a little bit more for transporting dangerous goods. And I expect my goods to be delivered on time. You have a problem with the price? You talk to the lawyers. Alright, we'll take 2,000. That's a lot. I'll have some of my spaceport workers unload the box from your ship, so take the credits to go. I've got other things to take care of here. Um... Can we do swoop shit? You again? Look, are you here to race, aren't you? I don't really have time for anything else. Just sit here on your fat ass. What do you gotta do? Um, I raced on Terrace. I won the season opener, per perhaps you heard of me? <laughs> you and 12 other liars. Planet blows up, race records are lost. Now everyone is a champion. Those bastards! Other people have been taking credit for our win. Nobody here can compare with the 
records you wrote against on Terrace. You'll wipe every record from the books this backwater track. Okay, enough of funny stuff. You think you're a racer? You'll be one. You have your own bike? Ah. Uh, uh, it blew up on Taurus? Wait, there might be a bike in the back of our ship. I think that's what Candace is standing by. Yeah, I got my own bike stored on my ship. You got bike, then you can race. I don't care about experience as long as you can get out on the track. Cookies sound good, but kind of cookies. And if you crash and burn, that's your problem. Haha, <laughs> I need warm bodies to pad the roster between the pros. Well, if we crash and burn, we'll definitely be a warm body. Mm, chocolate chip. Uh, this is a matter of a small track maintenance fee of 100 credits. You're trying to scam me. Now, Biff, don't you try to scam me. Why not try drop the fee? No racers means no crowds, nerd. Well, I suppose you're right. But I'm not dropping the whole amount. 50 credits. That's it. Fine. This, you huts. Here do you go. Good, that means you know business. Now you can use track for recreational runs. I can give you an official race right away. Sir, I don't, I don't even know why we're racing. Um, just, uh, just set me up with a... Wait, what business business you need help with? I make my money off of signing good racers. Good ones, not great ones. I want them young and stupid. Oh, I hope it's not the people that just drove out of here. <laughs> I got one. Nico said, said be great potential. Only started racing a year ago. Loves it. Lives for it now. But I want it simple. I want Nico to sign a contract with me. I want you to convince them I'll pay well. Oh yeah, we can do that. We can scam Nico. Um, what will you pay me? Um, how's 20 racing bonds sound? That should cover all your soup costs on Tatooine nicely. What other costs? It's like getting an AT&T contract. I'll make it all back if you sign the deal. I know it. What are racing bonds? Monetary notes. I issue so local vendors know who my friends are. You only pay us in, like, s s store script? They're worth ten times their number credits and sometimes more. Depends on how much of a friend you are. Fine. I I'll see what I can do. I'll be back. All right, let's go find this Nico dude. Was he here? I'm surprised to see a new racer. Mata thinks pros will start coming here now that Terrace is gone. I think the hut is true. Oh, hi. Are you another racer then? I heard someone new was talking to Mata. Always room for more, I guess. Don't know how much longer I'll be around here. But maybe we'll have time for a few races. I, uh, that stupid hut wanted me to talk to you. Did you? I'm not sure that's any of your business. Top racers keep to their own. I don't know you. Maybe if you were better on the track, I might feel like talking about it. Someone who can turn out the fast times might understand. Are you serious? What's his racing pay? Mata has some basic incentives for good times, which you probably know. But this is just an amateur track. The pro circuit is where the real credits are. But even that is hurting. I guess a lot of riders were on Terrace. Can I not just force persuade this dude? Where's the best place to get bike upgrades around here? If there's anything around, it'll be at the Zerka store in their office in the center of town. Stock is scarce on this rock. How long have you been racing? Just a few years. I used to run down in the canyons, but nobody sees you down there. I wanted crowds. Are you any good? I've been told I am. I might go pro. I'm looking at some contracts, but that's between me and Mata. Hurry it up, all right? Uh, uh, racing questions? No, the, the mod thing. Maybe. Just a few years. I used to. R Hurry it up. So I gotta beat him All in right. racing before he'll cut me a deal? It's swoop bike racing. Alright, nerd. Uh, do we go to the store in town, though? Gee, we. I. Um, 
There's a fee? Uh, let's just race. Shut up. Why is there a fee? I want a timed race. You'll have to go through motive. I just... I, fuck, I just talked to that stupid slug. That stupid fucking... Oh, this hut can't stop farting! What are you doing back there? Oh, it's you again. So is this about racing or business? One or the other, I've got no time for anything else. Um, let's talk about that business with Nico. Yes, contract problem. Have you talked to him? Uh, um, uh, I'll see what I... Eh. I want him to sign contract. Why won't he sign? He says I fund his bike repairs, but in return I take a hefty cut of his winnings. Fair. On Terrace you had to give a cut to this whip gang sponsoring you, but at least the rider got the higher share of the winnings. More slavery, just disguised! This guy's got strong swoop bike feelings. He knows he's harsh, but he can't afford to go pro on his own, and he doesn't want to give up racing. I've got him where I want him. I just need you to give him a little push in the right direction. Or a big shove. You look kinda like a sausage. Um uh, Maybe you should give him a better deal? You're not going to pull that typical swoop jockey attitude, are you? This is business and I know what's best. Um, I'll go back and talk to him. Talk to me about the re- Just set me up with a race. I already paid a maintenance fee. Fee is due before each race. You are such a scammer. You negotiate on the price? I don't feel I need to. My price is reasonable. Fine. I'll put on a good show. You'll make your money back. Yeah, all right. I'll give you the discount. If only to close your stupid mouth, I'll have your bike moved into position. But I warn you, I have people to make sure I don't give too many favors. You won't get this discount again! He's been doing the spice. Look how bloodshot his eyes are. You go against Garm Tortles time in the first air. He's a local boy. I don't care. Whatever. I don't know how to mo do this. I never swoop bike. What's the accelerator? Is it space? Is this making me go faster? <laughs> they can hear him over the radio. What the fuck do I do? They're like, you said you were a great swoop racer. I'm the best. Where's the gas on this thing? Hey, what do you call that then? When you draw crowds, not lazy times like that? Are you sure up to the competition? I thought the time I had to beat was 32 seconds or 39 or something. Uh, what time did I have? Uh, what rewards did I get? Three tier system. Um, let's go. Oh, I hate your stupid racing. Let's go back to the Circuit Corporation and see if there's um, something special that we can use to uh, juice our ride. Because I could have sworn they said that there might be something at the Circuit HQ, which is maybe right here. Oh no, that's the cantina. There's the Zerka office, so we gotta go... I think this way. I might have done better if I would have known how to accelerate right away. <laughs> 
Who's not here? Mission? Mission? Where the hell's mission at? Mission? Oh, great. She get kidnapped by sand yeah. people. It's about time you show up, girl. Ah, shoop jock. I know I don't have the crazy suicide parts you're looking for. <sighs> what do you have available? So, who has the parts we need then? Where are some people for me to bully to feel better? What's up, Jawas? Let's try to race one more time now that I know how to use it. Jawa said I could do it for free. Or Jawa? <laughs> um, I like officially timed race. Wait, what do I talk to you about then? What are the track records? Um, who did we go against first? Garm? What do you have on me? 2650. Alright. Hey Wyatt, how you doing, man? Alright, let's swoop race again. Just set me up with the race. Oh, here's your 100 credits. What, can we negotiate the price? I've already given you a free race! Oh! Fine, I'll pay the 100 credits. I can't imagine that Darth Revan and Malak, this is what they did when they were taking things over. It's any better? What you call that? How was it? Oh, fuck you. Fuck. Fuck. What? Eat a dick, you worm. <laughs> okay, I said, you know, I should look at the journal. Um. Which one is it? Swoop racing? You've signed up for soup races. Mount of the Hut runs the races and keep track of your times. I don't care about that. That one guy said he didn't have the crazy parts we would need. Wait, did I just walk backwards? Oh, it's another cantina. Something you want, Spacer. Go talk to the office if you want to complain about conditions here. I don't want to hear it, you swoop racers. Do you even know what it takes to run an outpost like this? As long as there's flat ground, what do you care? I'm getting sick of your attitude, you old bitch. Ooh, well, I wouldn't want that now, would I? Just leave me alone. I'm going to force choke him. You will show me proper respect. He squirms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this cantina. Mm, call me daddy. How long will this go on? He does not meet your gaze when you release him. He's suitably cowed. Damn, to make me do that again. He refuses to talk to me because he's scared of another respect lesson. How do you know you could do that? I love all the stuff in this game. Why would you bother? We a jaw are under easy. Yours do not care for ours. Do you miss that we are taken? No. What the fuck are you talking about? 
He sounds not right, unnatural. Yes, let's kill him, Zalbar. You're correct. The voices of Jawa and your Isis are not flawed. The ears of your kin are poor while we speak in plain language. Of your missing? Have some of your people gone missing? Is this interest? Not from your kind. The Isis thinks otherwise. Speak to him if you're acting and pretending. Jawa's tired of giant speak. Might as well slave to the Gaffy. So you trade? But what is that if no... I don't know. Ooh, holograms. Well now, what can Gandrop do for you? It's been a while since I've had anyone bother talking to me. I saw you down near the track, didn't I? Or, or was that someone else? I've been distracted by what happened on Terrace. Yes, I was at the Hut's house. Sure, not a problem. Might as well try to pass along some of what I know. <laughs> Racing days are pretty much done. Hmm. Good. Uh, tell me about racing. Ah, something I know. Well, well, something I used to know. Um, my racing days are behind me. The Gandalf is the name. Are you are you a discount Gandalf? Did you just rip that name off? Um. Uh. uh how do I soup up my ride? You don't have anything about that. Is this the best place for racing? Best place to race is wherever the track treats you sweet and your times are golden. It's that simple. You get hung up on any one track and, and he'll end up like me. <laughs> my favorite stop was Taris. Taris. I always look forward to going back. Now, now I don't want to touch my bike at all. Uh, maybe maybe I wasn't in the winter circle lately, but I <laughs> still race for sport, you know? <laughs> How, uh, what made Taurus is different than any than here? We were on the Taurus track. It was garbage. A woman. I never won on Taurus, but it was always my first stop on the circuit and the last if I could help it. That doesn't matter now. You can't ask for more certain closure than the whole planet being gone. <laughs> Poof, boom, gone. Oh, his groupie blew up. How long did you race for, bro? Oh, well, past my prime by any measure. I started late, too. Not like the kids out there now. Some of them are too young. Why do you think that? It's a cutthroat business. I, I, I've seen some of them burn out after a year. They get dangerous and don't live long. That's not everyone, of course, but, but it happens. I'm a has-been, I'll admit, but, but dying while you're on top is still dying. I'll pass. Coward. Um, what can you tell me about the other racers? I don't, I don't really talk to any of them. I, I, I know Zara's from the circuit, and, and you couldn't ask for a tougher lady. <laughs> She's a smart, too. I don't, I don't know the younger guys, but, but I've been watching Nico. Uh, good to see someone doing it for the love of the race. What makes him different than the other racers? I don't know, but, 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 but some people just just have something that lets the bike take them. It's, it's like the air stops pushing back. That's an old track, too, you know, when, when, when the wind decides to stop fighting. I, I used to have that. <laughs> Not anymore. You're insane. But it was nice meeting you. All right, then. Um. Uh, your answers are tiresome. Do you have anything useful I can use? No need to get all confrontational. What are, what are we, sand people? You wouldn't find much fight left in me anyway. Hmm. <laughs> then just die, old man. I'm not backing down. Why bother? I mean, <laughs> will this pay for ship maintenance <laughs> or whatever? You're just looking for coward credit. Yes. Ah, it'll get you to leave. Just, just, just take what credits I have. Take them, take them, and leave me. I don't want anything to do with you. Do you realize, man, that Hut's got me? I gotta pay a hundred credits just to race my shit bike. A hundred credits. Those Huts, they get their little wormy hands into you. Well, a fresh face for the game. I wonder, would you care to play? My name is Furco Nellis. My vice is Bazak. Abandon! Abandon ship! No! No! Right. Bye! No one wants to play your nerd game. <laughs> Ooh, dance, girlfriend! Yeah, work it! What's that guy playing on the right? Looks like he's playing a pressure cooker. Your song and your chicken is done! Delicious. <laughs> Look at those two dudes! 
It's oops, excuse me, excuse me. Oops, sorry, excuse me. Pardon me. Oh, oh, excuse me, excuse me. What's up, Bronto? Hey there. What can I do for you? Okay, have it your way. There's got to be a better way for us to race. Kuyami just kuna jiktenai. Ina kun mama ruli ra ra you don't say, droid. Be bop a doop up to you, too. Oh. Greeting. Hello to you, prospective purchaser. I am referred to as HK-47, a fully functional size tech corporation droid skilled in both combat and protocol functions. Query. Would you be so kind as to purchase this model from Yukalaka? It would serve my purposes to be removed from his ownership. You're the best droid I've ever seen! Oh. I'm not familiar with Sistec Corporation. What else do they make? Answer. With the restraining bolt in place, I do not have access to my memory core. I suspect, however, by the fine quality of my manufacturer, that they are a prestigious company indeed. I suspect I am of unique construction, or perhaps I was intended for a very specific customer. How I ended up here, I can hardly say. It is sufficient to say that I am a fully capable translator and cultural analyst, and I am also proficient in personal combat. Doesn't Yuka question you about your reluctance to reveal your functions? I have many bodily functions myself. Explanation. It is rare for a droid to resist an owner in this way. Doubtless the Athorian considers my stubbornness an embellishment to add interest to a seemingly mundane protocol droid. All right, I'll see if I can buy you. Statement. The fool Athorian has decided I am to be an expensive purchase. He does this out of greed and not out of knowledge of my true capabilities. Advisement. I have observed him. He is a coward and will be responsive to aggressive bargaining. You are the best droid ever. Does Luca Locker know you talk about him like this? Statement. I wish only to be purchased and away from ill treatment at the hands of this poorly skilled mechanic. I have no desire to be subtle. Qualification. Oh, of course I shall be quite pleasant to you should you purchase me, please. Yes, excellent. Is this a sad droid over here? Nobody knows what it's like to be the sad droid behind blue robo eyes. What is this? A customer I don't recognize? Perhaps you bring off a world money to Luke Yaka. Laka. Uh, what do you have available in your shop? Maybe I'm in the mood to buy something. We don't want to look desperate that I want that droid. You are lucky to come at this time. I have one droid ready to go. I took possession of it in HK-47. It is a fine protocol translator. I, do, I think it's been modified. It claims to understand the Sand People dialect. It also has some armor mounts. Combat ready, perhaps? Why would I want to talk to Sand People? Hmm. Um, let me ask some questions about this AK HK unit. Of course. Let me say that every function I've tested is performed perfectly. Those that I could find, anyway. Hmm. What functions have you tested? I've examined its programming, but I have made some observations. It has obvious protocol and translation skills, including sand- Yeah, you said the thing about the sand people dialects. How often am I going to use that? Surprisingly, it also handles weapons exceptionally well. I'd even say it's seen combat, but it won't tell. Stubborn thing, it needs to sell itself better. Two moisture farmers have been in, but it just stood there. Hmm. You don't seem to know much about it. The unit has been a little uncooperative. They get that way when they go too long without a memory wipe. You smell like you've not wiped in a while. You can leave it alone if you find his mannerisms amusing. Might be a little eccentric, but it's stable. Hmm, what's the HK-47 designation mean? I haven't got a clue. 
It doesn't match any protocol utility standard. I assume it's a retired model. I'd tell you to ask the thing yourself, but it's a stubborn bitch. Quality construction, though, very well made. Where did you get this? I acquired the droid from a friend that manages an off-world Zerka warehouse. It was a trade-in for debt That doesn't sound suspicious at all. Warehouse workers have a bad habit of paying off their debts with other people's property, you know? He said no one would miss it. Might have been surplus. It doesn't look like it was Zerka made, though. Hmm. Hmm. I guess we could talk price. Well, normally I'd give a discount because I hear you're a soup racer like my brother, Swoopy McGee. But times are hard right now. It's a solid machine in good shape. I can't let it go for less than 5,000 credits. Hmm. Hmm. Could I convince you to lower the price a bit? 4,000, not a credit less. He dropped that a lot. He didn't even have me make a counter offer. That was quick, desperate to sell. Um, no, no, well, first figure was a little high, you know, you never know, the occasional person bites right away. Mm, perhaps you can go lower? Lower? Uh, how, uh, how low are you expecting me to go? These are difficult times. The debt the droid covered was a large one. You will lower your price. I deserve it. We're going to try and force persuade him. I can be pretty convincing when I have to be. That mind trick is something else. I'll lower my price for you. You are deserving 2,500 credits, no lower. I don't know if we even have that. Drop the price or I will cut your head off. Hurrah, no fighter. Please, I need the shop to make my living. I just can't give the droid away. 25 credits is as low as I can go, I can swear. Ah, fine. Zalbar, after we pay him, rip his arms off and slap him in the face with him. Fine, just take it and go. I'll deactivate the restraining bolt when you take possession. And don't come back here. I'm not dealing with you again. Even if that thing lied about speaking sad people dialects or whatever else, I'm out to forge it. Welcome to the group, HK. Statement. I see you have purchased me, Master. I find this a satisfactory arrangement. My restraining bolt will be deactivated when you take possession of me. Am I to accompany you now? Shall I kill something for you? Yes, um, travel with me now. Statement. I will enter into your service now, Master. I am certain you will make adequate use of my primary functions. My gears are practically quivering with anticipation. Oh, you, HK-47. Nasty. Um, I love Mission, but we're going to take her out, and we're going to add HK and Zalbar. And then we're just We're just gonna auto level him up Normally I wouldn't do that but I don't feel like Messing with it Let's see what we can give him um, Some heavy droid plating Shield disruptor Sunray I should get some better stuff for him We'll give him I guess Security, we have some computer skills. Is there a better rifle? Well, that's better. I don't know, I'm not going to spend all day looking through these. We'll just give them a heavy pistol to start with. Excellent! Looking cool, HK! What? The, the only drawback is we can't heal him with our force powers, which is a pretty big drawback. But he's one of the most fun companions. Alright, we're gonna run back. I wish I could kill him. I would. What is this? The cantina? No.
It's one of the things I love about this game, too, is there's so many cool companions. <clears throat> that sometimes you're like, I want to take multiple ones, because you got lots of good choices. I don't really feel like talking right now. Uh, right. Is it because I suck at racing? <laughs> um, that's swoop racing. I haven't already dealt with the stupid fee. The fee is due before each race. Fine. I'm going to be so mad if he says it's not good enough. What do you call that? Oh my god! What are the other times I got to beat? <laughs> Malik's going to take over the whole universe because we're wasting all our time on this shit planet. Uh, what are the track records? 22? 23? There's no way we're going to beat any of these with our thing. Shit. If we go to journal, oops. Probably need to upgrade our swoop racer. But that guy, um, in the other place in the circuit core headquarters. I think I'm going the wrong way. We're just gonna go out and go deal with sand people or something. We can come back and the swoop race later on. I want to kill that stupid hut. He's taking like two or three hundred credits from us. I think we can go out there now because they stop you at this wall. I, I believe if you don't have a hunting license, but we sh have a hunting license. No one leaves Anchorhead without proper authorization. I have proper authorization, you nerd. Well, let's see it. Come on. Here's my hunting license. All right. I'll just scan that and you're off. I'll keep it on file, too. Good luck out there. You'll need it. <laughs> Who the hell's this lady? Hello there. You're heading out into the desert? You're a hunter, right? You must be if you've been allowed to leave Anchorhead. When you see Tannis, and I know you all boys always stick together. Tell him his wife hopes he enjoys the anniversary gift. Wait, are you the lady that the guy kept talking about his wife being a battle axe? What do you mean old boys? You're just another of his buddies from that hunting club. I know you're kind. You all cover for each other, I bet. Well, he can do what he wants. He'll get what he deserves. I bought my own license just so I could see that he did. You sound like you're planning to kill him! Oh, I'm through planning. I just left him a little mess that he has to take care of. If he's smart, he'll be just fine. But he's not smart. An anniversary gift? Oh, that's sweet. Just a little something to remember me by. Something that symbolizes our years together. Something that will blow up in his face. Like of he blew course, in your face? What? never understand how appropriate it is. He can't talk his way out of this one. He's not smart enough. All right, what if he has a message for you? Oh, I'll be long gone soon enough. The next shuttle to anywhere, really. I've had it with cleaning up his messes, repairing his droids. If he lives, he can try and get by on his own. I doubt he'll last long with no one to listen to his lies. All right, have a good day. I gotta go. I'm sure you do. <laughs> Like I said, when you see him, tell him his wife Marlena says hello. Who? Martin? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I'm going to be right back.
I'm going to take a break just a quick second, and then we're going to keep going. Be right back.